everyone. Welcome to this week's episode where I shall discuss why ultra processed food is bad for us. Ultra processed food is usually high in added sugar, which is usually high fructose corn syrup. Do you know what is high fructose corn syrup? High fructose corn syrup is actually a liquid sweetener which is made from cornstarch. It is made by breaking down corn into sugar molecules, namely glucose. Then half of this glucose is converted to another type of sugar called fructose, but it's actually a sweeter version. Added sugar is usually low in nutrients and high in calories. Regular consumption of added sugar can lead to compulsive overeating and also other health conditions such as metabolic syndrome, obesity, type 2 diabetes and other inflammatory diseases. If you look at the food label of ultra processed food, chances are that you will find a lot of unrecognizable ingredients. And these are usually artificial ingredients that you will not use in your own home kitchen. Manufacturers add these artificial ingredients to make the ultra processed food more palatable. Some of the artificial ingredients that you may find in ultra processed food includes preservatives, which actually helps to increase the shelf life of the food, artificial coloring, chemical flavoring, and also texturing agents. And remember, it's only not that. Ultra processed food may also contain a dozen more of chemicals that may not be listed in the food label. Remember, artificial flavoring is actually a generic term. Manufacturers do not necessarily have to disclose what chemicals are actually contained in the artificial flavoring. And it's usually a combination of many, many chemicals. Although these food additives have been tested for food safety, the usage of it to create ultra processed food remains controversial. Ultra processed food is also high in refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates, as I've mentioned before, are basically grain products that has undergone a lot of processing where the whole grain is no longer intact. Meaning to say, the germ and the bran of the whole grain is removed. When the germ and the bran of the whole grain is removed through processes like refining, we are losing out on dietary fiber, vitamins and minerals. The body breaks down refined carbohydrates very quickly, leading to rapid increase in blood sugar and insulin levels. The sugar levels then drops, causing a person to develop food cravings and feel low in energy. Because refined carbohydrates causes frequent increase in decrease in blood sugar levels like a yo-yo effect, excessive intake of refined carbohydrates is linked with development of type 2 diabetes. Ultra processed food is very low in nutrients compared with whole or minimally processed food. In some cases, manufacturers add synthetic vitamins or minerals to replace nutrients loss during processing. However, we will still lose out on the healthful compounds that whole food can provide. Fruit, vegetables and whole grains contain healthful plant compounds with antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic properties. Therefore, in order to get essential nutrients, it's best to consume whole food, unprocessed or minimally processed food. Ultra processed food is usually very low in dietary fiber because most of the dietary fiber is lost during processing. Fiber basically helps to slow down carbohydrate absorption and helps to make a person feel full for longer with fewer calories. Think and see if you have eaten quinoa or brown rice. Chances are that you would have eaten a lesser portion of quinoa or brown rice when compared with white rice. Why? This is because of the fiber content. Fiber also acts as prebiotic, feeding the friendly bacteria in our body and also helps to boost heart health. Ultra processed food is usually easy to chew and swallow. Because most of the fiber has been removed during the processing, it takes less energy to eat and digest ultra processed food. And because of this, we may end up eating a lot of ultra processed food in a short period of time. This can lead to unintentional pain. Ultra processed food can be high in unhealthful cheap fats or what is known as trans fat. This includes refined seeds or vegetable oil. They are actually easy to use, inexpensive and have a longer shelf life. Trans fat can actually induce inflammation in the body, increase the LDL cholesterol levels and also decrease the HDL cholesterol levels in our body as well. Consumption of a lot of trans fat is linked with heart disease, 
stroke and also type 2 diabetes. There's a research in 2019 that revealed that a 2% increase in energy intake from trans fat is associated with 23% increase in development of cardiovascular disease. Now that you know why ultra-processed food is bad for us, stay tuned to my next week's video where I shall discuss how to recognize ultra-processed food. Till then, goodbye!